And we're back on the last installment. We went through the Acme Axel Award, which is a stupid trophy name. Now we're doing Fender Bender Frenzy. Here we go. Down on the farm again. It's so silly. Why didn't they just do it like Mario Kart or even like Shrek Racing and Nicktoons Racing when you just have to play a cart or a track once? Whatever. <coughs> Shit, I spiked the audio. I'm, I got the sniffles right now, like I do every week. Uh, whatever. Cartoon Network Racing is my jam. I might play through Cartoon Network Block Party, but that's like a terrible Mario Kart ripoff. Or Mario Party, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Why am I always sleepy? I don't know why I'm always sleepy. I can't answer my own question. Let's get the other Mario power up. Yeah. Just take a shortcut right through the grass. It doesn't matter. Right through the dirt. Doesn't matter. Get that star. Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. But seriously, what's your favorite cartoon of all time? That's what I want to know. There's so many good cartoons. Again, I really have to split it into genre and, like, country of origin if I'm going to say my favorite cartoon. Like, my favorite American cartoon right now is Steven Universe. My favorite Canadian cartoon of all time is probably either Ed and Eddie or, uh, or Total Drama. My favorite Japanese cartoon is either Bobo Bo or Space Dandy. My favorite French cartoon, I, don't, I don't, honestly don't know many of them. Most French cartoons are like a Canadian side project that they like had French animators help with while they were working on it, you know. And then they sent it over to Canada and Canada was like, all right, we can do a lot of stuff with this. And then they did a lot of stuff with it and they like released it on Canadian TV. Custard Pie. We're around the corner. I win. Why was that track so easy? It's always so easy. Alright, sweet. We're just winning. Farm Frolics, just like the last installment. This track's pretty cool, though. Yeah, I know how to do the turbo boost now. I need speed! Turbo! More power! And if you guys are wondering what that's from, there's a Planet 51 video game for the 360, PS3, and Wii in which uh, Lem, who's uh, Justin Long, says those three things when he does his turb, like his uh, like nitrous boosts. Because that game is essentially a Grand Theft Auto clone, but it's a movie game. It's really weird, you know? All right, sweet. Over the oil. Over the oil. Okay. It's weird, though, because there's no Powerpuff Girls and there's no Dexter characters in this one. But in the uh, second one, the spiritual successor of the PS2 and DS one, they did put the Powerpuff Girls and Dexter in there, so that was smart of them. Because what's Cartoon Network Racing without the Powerpuff Girls? How do you guys like the Powerpuff Girls reboot? Honestly, it's okay. I'll watch it once in a while, but there's not many episodes of it, like, at the moment. Because if you watch it, if it's on TV, you're going to see the same, like, four episodes on. And again, I'd rather just be like, okay, whatever, and find my, like, buy the DVD box set of, uh of the OG Powerpuff Girls and just watch that because that's a lot better as a lot of people have told me and I agree with why would you freaking I keep forgetting that that's a shortcut uh, why would you freaking watch the new one if out of your own volition you could watch the old one or whatever the old one is so good go courage you and your UFO even though okay that is a good point. If I'm in a UFO, how does he have sl like slickery physics? There you go. That's a shortcut that I didn't even know. Pie. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I win. Alright, and the next two tracks are brand new, so that's good. Go. Get ready for the Alpine Antics. Oh man. Whose track is this? I honestly don't know whose track this is. I know that in the Shrek one, I had trouble with the ice level, so hopefully it won't give me too much trouble. Fart Cloud, go. Or whatever this is. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a Fart Cloud. Let's go across this ice. Yeah. Cheating. I'm okay with that. And people keep whistling. I don't know what that means. This track's pretty long. And again, I'm in a hovercraft. I should be not slipping at all on any of these things, but 
whatever. They had it in their program that courage has to slip on things. So here he is. This is actually a really long track. Took me about a minute to do a lap. So hopefully I go a little bit faster next time. Everyone's like right on my butt. Look at those dots. Yep, hopefully you don't have seizures. That was... Damn it, Johnny. You little fucker. Have a pie. Oh yeah, that goes behind me. Whatever. I don't get what's with the slide whistle. My face itches. There you go, I got it. Yeah, you hear that? The wee woo. It's so weird. Shortcuts. Have a pie. Have another pie. Have a third pie. It's so stupid that they don't have an animation for you dropping the items. It just looks like you poofed it away. You're just like, poof, I don't want this anymore. You know, instead of actually throwing the item. Pretty silly. I don't even think there's a mirror mode or like a reverse mode on this either. So pretty much, yeah, we're, we have to be cool with just this, but that's all right. And what I'm going to do, roadies, is, damn it, sheep, you little fucker, uh, on, on the last episode of this, when we get to it, which will be the next one, I'm just going to put the last two tournaments in one part so that you guys can enjoy both cups in one sitting without having to wait one to seven days for me to upload it. So, yeah. And it, also, if you, didn't, you guys didn't notice, I have to record this in one sitting because of the password system. Because there's no safe battery, but that's all right. Let's go, Courage. Who is uh, y'all's favorite character in any show? And what character, like, what universe would you like to live in for, like, cartoons? There's so many options. There's so, so many options. I don't know, though. I couldn't choose because there's bad in every universe. Hot Rod Johnny. Oh, it's literally like the racetrack from Johnny Bravo. You know what's a terrible show with the word Johnny in the title? Johnny Test. It's okay up until like season three. Because if you guys didn't notice, Johnny Test was originally on like the kids WB. Like freaking Saturday morning cartoons on the WB or the CW as it's called now. Uh, and it was like 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. They had cartoons on like local free access TV and anyone who had a TV could just plug in the TV and get free cartoons. But no, you can't do that anymore. You have to buy TV. Why? Do, okay, it's weird. Half the time the computers don't even drive through the items and they get items. And the other half they don't drive through the items and they actually don't get items. So weird. But no, uh, like on the Kids WB, they had the original Johnny Test, like the first two seasons of it. And it was actually pretty good. Like the animation was a little bit crisper and the jokes were good. But then after season two... Uh, the cartoon, or Teletoon to be specific, bought Cookie Jar Entertainment or whoever, to, I think it is Cookie Jar, the people who do Johnny Test, and a whole bunch of other shit, but I'm not going to talk about it, because uh, the same crew also did Super Duper Sumos, and we all know how that turned out, um, but like as soon as season three had a Janie Torst, uh, what they did was they like lowered the production value, and they made some episodes pretty much the same as other episodes. Like, my brother pointed it out because he got the complete series for, like, 15 bucks and he wanted me to watch it with him. I was like, okay. So I watched it with him, and as soon as, like, season four or five hit, there's a point where every single other episode is a race episode. Like, not race like, I'm Chinese, but race like, I'm driving a car. But they're all different. It was like, one's like, they all have bikes, and they all have gift cards, and they want to buy something with their bikes, and then they bet their gift card that they can race to the store to spend the gift card, they bet that they can win. And then other characters come out of nowhere and they're like, oh, I bet I can win. I bet I can win. And then they all, like, try to race to a destination to spend the gift cards. And then, like, two episodes later, they're like, we all have snowmobiles. We all have snowmobiles, too. Us, too. Yeah, me, too. And then they have a snowmobile race. And then two episodes later, they're all like, I have a helicopter. We also have helicopters. Helicopter race? It's so fucking stupid. Whoever thought that was a good idea should be shot. I got the Manic Motorway. Mr. Kevin's Tonic. Cool. That's the hair gel that Johnny uses, by the way. We're going to be sheep again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Manic Motorway. On the next installment of Cartoon Network Speedway, we are going to do the Manic Motorway and the final race track, whatever the hell it is. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of a bonus. We're going to make the last episode pretty long. We're going to do a little bit of a bonus when I enter a cheat code to unlock all the characters. And it'll, it'll be fun. We'll just do a little bit of a little bonus at the end. 
So I will see you all in the last installment of Cartoon Network Speedway. I'm some guy named Nate. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.